Hi guys, this is really not how I intended to start this vlog, but I was supposed to be moving on the 6th of July and that is how I planned my life, literally, only for me to go and make an inquiry and they said I can't move in today and it's good for me because then like it will save me a whole lot of heat. So yes, it's a new vlog, I'm moving to school today. This one's for you and me Living out of dreams We're all right where we should be We're not ah, No, if I say it like that, I'm probably confused So I've been here for I've been in Canada for about four months And I was living off campus And then I got a chance to move to campus Yeah, that's where I'm moving to I'm moving to campus Finally I'll be there for like six months or whatever. Nobody asked, I know. But yes, I'm moving. I am moving. Ah, I'm moving. So I'll come, I'll come along with you guys. I'm currently at work. I haven't closed. I have about an hour more. Then I'll go and pack my things. And I'll be on my way. Whew. Must be nice. I'm a lazy content creator, I know. I've packed my tripod, but I'm home, okay? <laughs> and I've started packing, and I just chanced on CVs that I printed that I never used. Hmm. Ah, I don't even know if I'm happy about it or sad about it. Because I paid for these, like, I mean, my school paid for them, but it was part of my credit. So... I'm just ripping them apart. Hey, your dust. I need to use because I can see it. So I'm home and I've started packing. I had already spoken to a friend who offered to help me carry my things to the residence. So I await that orchestration. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. Hi. <laughs> This thing came inside the box. <laughs> it was very fine, but me and Kuali, when I put it in there, I can't put it inside the box. Oh, my hair is nice. Hey, I look tired. Though. Anyway, so 
I've been able to pick everything for my business. We are on my way to my this is my Uber drive. So we are coming here with a force, yeah. Blessing they are reaping with boys in our food. But when I rise on boys, yeah, we give thanks that we need it the most. Yeah, we give thanks that we're really supposed to be thankful. Blessings are all from the life, man. So we are coming here with a force, yeah. Blessing they are reap and we go it in our food. But when I rise on boss, yeah, we give thanks that we need it the most. Yeah, we give thanks that we are supposed to be thankful. Blessings are from the life man. what happened guys so i am far gone in my setting and apparently the doors here you can't open it from outside i don't know how it works but whatever the case is my key is locked inside the room i'm like 90 percent done packing everything i'll show you when i get back so right now i'm on my way to the reception to beg them to give me a spare key so that i can open the door and I'm taking the cart that I used to pick my things down and then I'll just take the key and then when I get back I'll show you what I've been able to achieve Whew, such a long walk <laughs> decided to do this little clip and then add to what's wrong with that anyway <laughs> so i just decided to do this little clip and add to this video especially for those who will be watching this video for the very first time or my channel for the very first time my name is dory ah i'm sure you figured it out by now and let me just use this opportunity to say thank you to my returning subscribers and returning viewers i don't know why you want to be watching my videos and not subscribe i really don't know why because it's free you know anyway so so let me like give you a little background to why this video is happening so i've been in canada since let's say march because i got here 29th february 
or 28th i don't know but i've been in canada since march and when i came i was living off campus i rented a room in somebody's house off campus and that's where i was living so a couple of people were asking for room tours and all of that but i couldn't because i just felt everybody deserved their privacy so yeah i was there for my first semester my first semester has ended and the second one is starting tomorrow and i just like got this opportunity to live in the campus residence which is far cheaper than where i used to be okay let me just say this for those who want to know how rent is so in my previous apartment i was paying 700 dollars for the room it came with everything hydro water yeah, everything that's all i was paying and and wi-fi and here i'm paying for 50 a month but the issue with this space is you have to pay it in full so it depends on the length of your your term your semester if it's four months you need to pay other four months up front um some some of us pay six months so you need to pay six months up front and the good thing about my school is international students have a best week and i think the the regular rent is like 600 600 or 950 one of it but yeah some people pay 950 some people pay 600 and then me i'm paying 450 i don't know but uh, i don't know but it's just a cambrian thing so if you are looking at coming to cambrian college you should like explore that option so for if you're a first time I now coming to cambrian i think you get to pay 450 for your first um semester i think yeah that's how it works but i'll be here for the next six months and I've, i mean i have paid for the next six months so i'm talking too much i really hope this thing is making sense okay so yeah that's it that's why i have moved to a new place and i like this place it's like a lot more space i can stretch my hand and not be scared <laughs> my other place was really small and like i don't know but i just find this place more spacious and then at least i'm in the midst of a lot of people so i'm not going to be so lonely yeah i like that too and yeah i'm close to a lot more people now and yep that's it so that's why i have moved okay <laughs> before i get a lot of questions i really hope that the all the things i've said is answering more questions than i think oh and my jewelry is from so Rax, I'm still gonna put the link in the description if you still wanna get it. And yep, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So I'm not completely done. I'm still going back to my old place. I left a few things that I want to go and pick up. So I'm going back there to where's my passport? Okay, I know where it is. So yeah, I'm going back there to pick up a few things. And if you if you're really following my channel, you know I came back from Niagara yesterday. I got, in fact this morning I got to Sagri 1 a.m. this morning and then I got like somebody to help me move my stuff here. So it's currently around 4 p.m. And yeah, I'm done. So I'm just going to pick up the rest of the things and then I'll go straight to bed. I'm working tomorrow so and today's holiday today's canada day so yeah that's how come it's monday that's how come i didn't go to work or um, i have time to do this and nobody asked i know so thank you once again for watching this video and if you've watched it to this point kindly subscribe okay i beg you in fact i'm going to learn the away away way of saying i beg you and then i'll see it next time i beg you okay <laughs> so i'll see you in my next video bye Born to live in Niagara, forced to live in Sudbury. like saying this you people should like check up on your friends who are always happy like they look like they don't have issues it's like 
who takes care of the people who take care of other people is crazy when i was in ghana i never for once felt like this whatever that i can't really express it just i don't know but being an immigrant in somebody's country is so devastating like these are things i have i've barely seen videos about this topic online it's so devastating like it's not like i'm broke i mean i'm broke if you want to say money fine but it's not like i'm broke or i like i don't have somewhere to sleep or i don't know i don't know exactly what it is but like there's just no sense of freedom and it's it's ah it's not like i'm sad and i'm crying these are just like straight tears <laughs> I don't know but like it's ah and it's not like i'm lonely like now that i'm here i know some people here that i can just go to and then we can't do. i don't know what it, i don't know exactly what it is but like it's just it like it's like something is taking away your peace of mind it's i don't know i really don't know how i can explain it but if you are like also not in your home country and you ever feel some type of way just know that you are not alone there are so many of us who feel this way and i don't care like whoever will see this video and say that i like crying or whatever. that's your problem so i moved here yesterday okay i moved here yesterday and i don't have anything here the place i was at as first i was sharing stuff so i had a couple of things so i passed by um dollarama and then food basics and i'm I, i'm just saying I, like i'm just like trying to show you what i went to buy so first of i went to what is it called bali village i got the pencils so i went to buy this it's used but it's fine and this i got this too from value village five dollars yeah. what this two to begin with it doesn't have a cover but i'll build my like redundant it's not a way i don't care and i don't have any i have food i have soup but i don't have stew and i don't have blender so i bought um, chopped tomatoes from food basics then sausage then i bought olive oil <coughs> Ha, huh. so see, I bought olive oil, then I bought spaghetti. I got the bit on it. So it's not spaghetti, it's spaghetti. <coughs> see how the devil wants to press my toes for saying my truth. Whatever. Then I bought 12 eggs. Hey, these things that I'm putting on my bed. Nigerians will say I suppose they kitchen they remove them. Then I got small rice because the amount of money I've spent today was just making me feel weak. So normally I'll buy like four and a half kg or something but then I bought Jamie. So these things kit 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 ki are the value village things there it was like twelve dollars or something. Eh, let, let's plus that twelve dollars. Then the the tomatoes the sausage the oil the rice and the egg and the onion and the spaghetti it's it was like 27 dollars is it worth it i don't know but like oh god when will this end will it ever end so that aside in fact what even broke my heart before i went to food basics now I went to do this poverty stricken shopping. I went to Dollarama. One dollar, four dollars, three dollars. Ah, uh, let me show you the things, and then I'll tell you the price, and then we'll try and reason it. So the food is the same, and this thing is finished. So knife. The knife is four dollar fifty. And a set of spoons, fork, and this. Then I bought tongs not the panty tongs this one is for cooking and things and then i bought two plates then i bought a bowl this bowl is four dollars i don't know but i just feel like it's expensive i've not been in this country for long but i just feel like the price has increased i don't know how much it needs to cost but it has increased 
I don't care. Then I bought a sieve. Some was three dollar fifty. There were smaller ones. There's the smaller ones are like half of this one's price. And if I check, and I need to talk for so many more things, so I bought this one as well. Then I bought sponge. That's a sponge. Sponge. Then I bought this thing. It's things like things that women and human beings use to cook. Then I bought a this the board of chop chop chopping board. Then I bought this. Um, hey, what is all my vocabulary? Then lastly, a laundry detergent. And all oh, that like, this small thing is paid was forty six dollars fifty three cents. It's very expensive. Oh, it's me that I'm I'm frustrated and I think it's expensive. Me, I'm tired. Oh, I'm bit, like I'm tired. Look, the this thing I went to buy. Then we have to open it to open it. Oh good. Like it took blood, sweat and tears to move me out of the shop. Cause ah uh, I need so many things but I don't know. It's not like I don't have money. I just feel like the money is going faster than it's coming. And I don't know. Or it's me that I, I, I spend too much. What's happening? Like I know that people come and say that it's not any better in Ghana and all of that, but I'm frustrated. The video was supposed to have ended, but I just felt like adding this clip, okay? I'm not, like, I mean, by the time you watch this video, I'll be fine. Like, I would have gotten over this, probably happy, I would have, I would have found a man or something. Who be taking care of these things or something. Don't be shocked if it's an Indian. Just say. So, yeah, that's about it. I'm just going to go ahead and properly end this video i hope nothing comes up again just going to put these things up somewhere and then watch a movie or do something see goodbye okay <laughs> how about we chat later